Hello everyone this is ASM Arif today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial today we will work with the portrait photography actually fashion photography like that uh, this one I downloaded from the deviantart.com and this one is stock image uh, suppose you got this type of image but um, you are not uh, able to retouch this one and you have no idea how to retouch this one and um, i'll give these ideas and i'll give these type of technical uh, just terms i'll show you in this video so before start my tutorial i want to say one thing please do subscribe my channel and feel free to press the bell icon beside the subscribe button and you'll get the new notification when i'll publish my videos in a youtube okay so let's start uh this one is raw footage actually footage i am telling this one uh, uh raw raw actually non edited image and here is the light which is the overexposed in this area and the uh, skin color is not properly in a tone and here is a dark portion but uh, and uh, the uh, picture is uh, sharp enough and how to edit like this uh, actually uh, you have no idea about or uh, you are just uh, uh, getting stuck to imagine that thing how to edit this one um, how could i edit this one or um, like that okay let's start you can use the camera filter for this editing one plugin that is the uh, google nick collection and um, i strongly suggested you to use these two things for using uh, editing or editing purpose okay let's start i'm making copy by pressing ctrl j or you can drag it and drop in this new layer this portion this here is the icon the new layer okay after that you will get uh, two photos and i'll just turn off the eye for not visible this one um, i'll work with this that's why i'm just taking this select this layer and go to the filter and then camera filter if you are user of cam just photoshop uh, cs6 or earlier version of the creative creative cloud then you have to install it manually uh, i'll suggest you to uh, update your photoshop into creative cloud you'll get lots of facilities and lots of things new in this version okay uh, at first i will just uh, control the light here here is the highlight how to control this one in a proper way press the alter button and just slide this one and go to the minus value okay and when you are not getting any kind of dots in your skin uh, yes just leave that button okay and the exposure the same when you are getting some dot in your screen just leave it yeah and the contrast also just okay okay contrast little bit okay shadow yeah you can add shadow or if you want to make it more like uh, artistic uh, just decrease the shadow okay i'll add some shadow like plus 10 7 that's good and white balance yeah here is uh, lots of white portion you have to control it otherwise um, you won't get the desired um, effect in your photo okay press and hold the alter button and when just dot gone please leave the button okay and the blacks also when you will just get lots of things in your just screen just leave it yeah let's see the before and after yeah subtle change and then i'll work with the temperature uh, you are just getting here this one is a cool tone so i'll make it a little bit warm and add some tint like that and exposure i should down the exposure yeah this one will the best feelings okay now see the before one and after one 
yeah uh, you are getting more exposure on your exposure like uh, uh, your model is now highlighted okay i'm just going to the uh, okay in this window and the clarity i'll give clarity 5 actually the clarity is like that all the things will be prominent uh, the pixel will be prominent but i don't want to do it more otherwise it will like that no i want on do that i'll make it five or six three or four that's good and then i'll go to the sharpen amount uh, actually the detail options add some sharpness add some noise reducer like a noise reduction 10 to 12 or 10 to 15 that's enough okay and then i'll go to the camera calibration i'll work with the green or other color later and then i'll just make like that yeah and the green i'll make yeah like primary green like that and i'll increase the saturation of primary blue yeah it will give me uh, the water and the uh, just uh, underwater things in more prominent way and the hue i'll make you like that or you can make no i'll make like that yeah and then i'll go to the hsl the hue saturation and luminance hue for the color uh, the color palette you can tell or the color swatch you can tell the saturation will be how um, uh, deep will be the color and luminance how lightening will be, will be the color okay here is my uh, three or four colors actually green and the face color uh, orange and brown and blue blue is the trace and at first i'll work with the blue but not too much the down the blue luminance and add some saturation of blue yeah and here is green i'll desaturate the green for the artistic purpose and the luminance i'll down the green luminance okay this portion will uh, in a focus and just zoom in this one here is some uh, blue color so if you want you can just decrease the saturation but uh, uh, this one is a style i think that's why the makeup part so it's fair fair enough and the yellow color like that i just uh, add some yellow saturation and luminance i'll be just a little bit down and the brown color the orange color yeah the face color actually yeah a red i'll just increase the red luminance and saturation i'll little bit down i'll just make it like that let's see the before and after one uh, the all the area is more prominent and visible and you are getting light or other things so after that here is the curves option and blue curves i'll work with the blue curves okay just i'll make like that not too much a little bit and then the green color okay i'll make like greenish okay and the rgb color just select here and just make it like that or you can select here you can yeah uh, it will be more artistic let's see the before one and after one yeah the before one and after one you are getting like that so after that um, i should add some just uh, saturation from here yeah saturation i'll add and variance i'll add like that yeah that's good and temperature i should control this one yeah i'll make like that uh, 10 that's good and exposure yeah that's good and um, i'll just uh, go to the hsl option and the orange color i'll add some orange saturation i'll make it two that's good so i am saving these settings i'll give that setting download link in my video description so check it out i'm just giving the girl okay and hit the ok button 
yeah this one was our previous image yeah the before one and after one okay uh, in this photo uh, it's just look like the girl is um, exhausted and just taking like that mm, okay yeah, it's really mean something but in this photo uh, nothing just meaning um, no one is highlighted actually uh, no one is uh, literally exposed or just if you want to say something with this picture uh, in this photo nothing you can say but in this photo you can say lots of things the shadow and highlighting the color of the underwater elements and the green uh, grasses the waters and the girl's face and the girl's dresses all the things you can tell something okay after that uh, I'll add extra effect so go to the filter and Nick collection color effects pro 4 uh, the, you can download this in Google Nick collection uh, from the Google Nick collection official website and I'll give that download link in my video description so check it out and it's loading uh, color effects pro 4 it's loading and it depends on the PC configuration actually so I'm using the cross processing here the cross processing options and when you will select this one some method will appear in this panel so you can choose one of them uh, I'll select this one okay that's good you can control the strength shadow highlight all the things so I'm just making it 30 30 and highlight 0 and the shadow 0 and here is something but I'll create a clarity I'll make 100% and I'll hit the ok button it will take time to apply this effect and it will give you the output of finally yeah the let's see the before one actually before one and after one you're getting um, the background is separated you're getting the dark color for the background and shadow just sunlight just uh, fallen here but background is dark and um, sunlight just falling in the hair of a girl so you're getting the lights and bouquets over there you're getting the colors of underwater everything you are just in this image but you are not getting this one proper way so hope that you enjoyed this video and i'll give that camera roll settings in my video description i'll give the download link over there so download this one and you can apply this one in your photo and don't forget to give the credit line <laughs> yeah and thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i am asmr signing out and before that don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends thank you so much Thank you.